Did you know that up to 25% of adults worldwide have fatty liver disease, a silent epidemic that can lead to serious health conditions like cirrhosis and liver cancer? This is a condition where excess fat accumulates in your liver cells, causing inflammation and potential damage. It's like having a party where the guests are all fats and your liver is the venue. But unlike most parties, this one isn't fun. It's harmful. And it can go on for years without any signs. There are two main culprits in this fatty fiasco, alcoholic and non-alcoholic liver disease. The first type, as you might guess, is due to excessive alcohol consumption. The second type, on the other hand, can sneak up on you without any alcohol involved, often linked to conditions like obesity and insulin resistance. Now that you know the basics, let's dig deeper into the risk factors of each type of fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD, is more common than you might think. And it's not just about what you eat, Let's delve into the risk factors, shall we? First up, insulin resistance. This condition makes your body's cells less responsive to insulin, leading to increased fat storage in the liver. Then, there's obesity, particularly abdominal obesity. Excess body weight is strongly associated with NAFLD as fat tissue releases fatty acids into your bloodstream, contributing to liver fat accumulation. Next, the metabolic syndrome. This cluster of conditions, obesity, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and abnormal lipid levels, is often linked to NAFLD. These factors contribute to liver fat deposition and inflammation. Now let's talk about diet. Foods high in saturated fats, refined sugars, and processed ingredients can promote liver fat accumulation and inflammation. Excessive consumption of sugary beverages and high-calorie foods is particularly problematic. Lastly, your genes may also play a role in the development of NAFLD. Although lifestyle factors typically exert a more significant influence, genetic predisposition can't be overlooked. So, as you can see, NAFLD isn't just a matter of carrying a few extra pounds or indulging in a sweet treat now and then. It's about an interplay of lifestyle and genetic factors that puts your liver at risk. While NAFLD occurs without heavy alcohol consumption, alcoholic fatty liver disease, or AFLD, is a different story. AFLD is primarily caused by excessive alcohol intake. Now, you might think, I'm not a heavy drinker, so I'm safe. Not necessarily. Chronic alcohol abuse can lead to liver fat accumulation and inflammation, even if you consume moderate to high levels of alcohol. But how does this happen? Well, when you drink alcohol, your liver gets to work breaking it down. This metabolic process produces toxic byproducts that can damage liver cells and promote fat deposition. The more you drink, the more these toxins build up overwhelming your liver's ability to metabolize alcohol efficiently. This onslaught can lead to AFLD, so it's not just about how much you drink, but also about how your body processes alcohol. In AFLD, your drinking habits can quite literally change the health of your liver. However, there's more to the story. Other factors can also contribute to fatty liver disease. Certain medications, rapid weight loss, and even imbalances in your gut microbiota can play a part. But, guess what? You can prevent and manage this condition. It all comes down to addressing the underlying risk factors, so when it comes to treating fatty liver disease, science and medicine have made significant strides. Lifestyle changes are the first line of defense, and often the most effective. This involves managing your weight, eating a liver-friendly diet, and regular exercise. But in certain cases, these changes may not be enough. That's where medical interventions come into play. Medications like those to control cholesterol and blood sugar levels can help manage the disease. Newer drugs are also being researched and developed specifically to treat fatty liver disease. In severe cases, where the liver is severely damaged and not responding to other treatments, surgical interventions may be considered. Liver transplantation is a last resort but has saved many lives. Remember, with the right intervention and treatment, fatty liver disease can be managed effectively. It's all about catching the condition early, understanding the risks, and taking proactive steps to protect your liver health. This is a battle that can be won, and science is on our side.